In the third month of their long journey from Egypt, the children of Israel pitched their tents near Mount Sinai. And Moses went up to the top of the mountain, and the Lord spoke with him. Moses descended from the mountain, and, calling together the elders of the people, repeated God's words to them. God instructs me to ask you a question. Will you obey his voice in all matters, and thus become his chosen people? What is your answer? All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Moses again climbed to the top of Mount Sinai and told God what the people had promised to do. And the angel said unto Moses, Go unto the people, Moses, and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes. And be ready against the third day, for the third day the Lord God will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. And Moses went down from the mount and told the people to be ready on the third day for God's appearing on Mount Sinai. Sharon? I thought you were going to help me wash these clothes. We've got to get them specially clean this time. Why, Mommy? Tomorrow is going to be the most important day of our lives, and we want to be sure to be prepared for it. Is tomorrow going to be more important than the day we beat the Amalekites? Much more important. Tomorrow, God himself is going to appear to us on top of Mount Sinai. You mean we get to climb all the way to the top of the mountain? Oh, no! God wants us to stay at the foot of the mountain so no one will get hurt. I'd love to run right up to him and touch him. Sharon! God is far too great and mighty for sinful people to go close to him. Why, Mommy? Oh, stop asking so many questions. We've got to get these clothes washed or they'll never be dry by tomorrow. <laughs> And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud. And Mount Sinai quaked and was covered with smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses called and the angel of the Lord answered him saying, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal.
Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Thus was God's will made known to Moses, and through Moses to the people of Israel and to all nations for all time. <laughs> 